I think we can all agree that this year's Fortnite Mares event has been amazing with so many awesome mythic bosses like Jigsaw, the Ultima Knight, and of course our boy Mephisto, but it gets even better as they just added a new free emote and three free skins that we are going to be showing you guys how to unlock in today's video. And if you want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping in the Fortnite shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. And a big shout out to everyone using code NRPH in the item shop. Thank you so much for all the support. So at this point, we're all aware that Mephisto, one of the new mythic bosses in Fort Nightmare's update, is pretty strange in the fact that you can't actually fight or damage him because he has an invisible force field around his throne. But there is actually a glitch that allows you to take him out and eliminate him, and all you need to do is obtain the new Captain America shield, throw it down the hallway at an angle, and then of course move behind him before it comes back, and this will actually glitch through his invisible barrier, taking him out and eliminating him from the match which is a really funny way to troll the lobby. What you can do with Mephisto's NPC though is talk to him and he does have some very special dialogue with a few characters that gives us some more background lore as to what happened during the Doctor Doom event and this season. If you talk to Mephisto wearing the Doctor Doom skin he will actually reply saying your mother's screams echo across my realm which is a reference to why Doctor Doom summoned Mephisto into Fortnite's reality in the first place was because he wanted to make a deal with Mephisto sell his soul and get his mother back from the dead, which Mephisto now confirms didn't happen. Again, if you go up to him and talk to him as Scarlet Witch or the Wanda skin, he will reply saying, Wanda, how are your boys? Which is another reference to the WandaVision TV series that came out a few years ago, and again, is a very touchy subject for Wanda and a very messed up thing to say, which truly shows you how evil Mephisto actually is. I also thought it was funny that if you talk to Mephisto as Hope, he says, believe me, kitten, there is no greater joy than defeating Victor Von Doom, so he's kind of congratulating her, but the fact that he called her kitten is kind of weird. So the first two free skins you can unlock in Fort Nightmares update is the new She Venom and Agony skins, which are in collaboration between Fortnite and Marvel for the upcoming Venom The Last Dance film. On top of just being really, really awesome skins to begin with, you can actually unlock these for free by competing in the upcoming Symbiote Cup happening on October 22nd, which is a duos tournament, so make sure you guys find your best Fortnite friend and start practicing. If you place in the top 1,000 players of any region, you're actually able to unlock both Agony and She Venom, including their entire bundles of cosmetics, for 100% free, and you also get them two days early before they release into the item shop on October 24th. The good news about this Symbiote Cup and this new Venom collab is that data miners found that Eddie Brock and the original Venom skin are also going to be coming back into the item shop very soon, which will be the first time that Eddie Brock has been available for purchase in over 1,000 days. So this is a really rare skin that gives everyone an opportunity to purchase it, along with getting the new female versions for free by playing in the Symbiote Cup and hopefully placing well. It is worth noting that the last collab that Fortnite did with the Venom franchise was with the Carnage skin, which actually released its own mythic known as the Carnage Symbiote, where you were able to find this mythic ability in the pods that spawned around Fortnite's island. So now that we have a Wave 2 collab for the new Venom movie with She Venom and Agony skins coming out, there is a possibility for them to release their own symbiote mythic versions since it fits really well with the Fort Nightmares theme. The Fortnite status Twitter account also tweeted yesterday saying players who had purchased the Paradigm during her first shop appearance will be granted a new style variant early next week, which is actually our next free skin that most of you guys are going to be receiving. And that is this new version of Paradigm known as Paradigm the Reality warrior, which actually has connections to the brutal bastion point of interest that was on Fortnite's island back in chapter 4. So there is some lore connected to this, and unfortunately we only have a few early images of what the new version of her actually looks like, but it is like this black and gold theme which looks amazing in my opinion. And the reason they're sending out this new OG version of Paradigm to a bunch of players is because back on August 17th, so earlier this year, Fortnite actually released the Paradigm skin into the item shop on complete access when it was supposed to be an exclusive skin that was never going to return since she is a member of the Seven and was also released a part of a Battle Pass event. So of course, with a bunch of people buying Paradigm when they were not supposed to be able to get her in the first place, they now sent out in May
made a new OG version for the players that originally had her, which I know for anyone that was playing from chapter three or before probably owned her. So there's gonna be a lot of you guys receiving this skin. And we now know that Fortnite will be sending it out this upcoming Tuesday, most likely during the hot fix update that we get every single week. Also make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. And before we reveal the third secret free skin that you guys can unlock here in Fortnite chapter five, I wanted to show you guys a super easy method to unlock all the free Fortnite Mares rewards, a part of this year's Halloween quest, where you basically just need to gain a ton of XP and rank up in order to get all 11 free cosmetics. So step one is to go and type in this island code right here, which will load you up to the Fantastic Four custom mythic map. You're gonna wanna go ahead and heart this map for future reference and then load in either in a private or public match. Now, once you spawn into the map, you're gonna realize there is a bunch of custom mythics for Fantastic Four, but the one you're gonna wanna grab is the Human Torch mythic, which is the red one. Once you obtain this mythic, you're gonna head to the very center of the map in this black square, go to the left side and look straight up into the sky. And once you look a little bit to your left, you're gonna activate the Human Torch mythic, which will make you fly up into the air and actually teleport you through a secret barrier, taking you to a place that spawns an infinite amount of XP coins. From here, you could literally drop your controller, go AFK and gain thousands and thousands of XP, which again, will just speed up the process and help you guys unlock all 11 of the free Fortnite Mares rewards, a part of this year's quest, which I know can actually be pretty grindy depending on how much XP you actually need. But the next free skin you guys can unlock is actually known as the Cobalt Snowfoot skin, and it's actually going to be an entire free bundle, a part of the next PlayStation Celebration Pack. Along with the Cobalt Snowfoot skin, you're also going to get the Sapphire Star Back Bling, the Weathered Snow Stripes Weapon Wrap, the Cobalt Crash Drum Set, and then also a pickaxe that data miners have not found the name to as of yet. And for those of you guys unaware of how the PlayStation Celebration Packs actually work, basically all you need is one PlayStation account that has PS Plus active. From there, you literally just go to the store, search up the Celebration Pack, or in this instance, you could search Cobalt Snowfoot. It will come up with the pack, you download it for zero dollars, and then that's basically it. You could load up the Fortnite and you will be granted all the cosmetics a part of this set, which compared to some of the ones we've seen in the past, this new one is actually really, really solid because we got a free skin and a back bling pickaxe and weapon wrap and even a drum kit for you festival fans out there. Now, the only thing about this free bundle is the fact that we do not know when the release date is set to be. Some people think that Fortnite could delay this and save it for the next season, while some think that this could be released in the next update once Fortnite Mares starts to cool down a bit. So we're gonna have to wait and see, but make sure you guys are on the lookout for this as it is a really dope bundle that you can get literally for $0. Another Marvel collaboration we should be receiving very, very soon that was confirmed by leakers is between Fortnite and Jessica Drew, aka Spider Woman, which is very, very exciting as there is actually two different versions and realities of her character that Fortnite could choose from. One is the comic book version, which is more traditional looking and considering Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4's Marvel season so far has been very accurate to the comics, I'm guessing that this is the most likely version and design for this new skin that we will be receiving, but there is also the Spider-Verse version, which is more modern and definitely different than the comic book, so it really just depends on your preference, but both of these are viable options for new versions of Spider-Woman that will be coming to the shop very, very soon. And just like the She-Venom and Agony skins, this also opens up the possibility for Fortnite to re-add some OG Marvel mythics from older seasons, like Spider-Man's Web Slingers, which obviously we'd be updated and slightly revamped to fit Spider-Woman, but it would still be the same concept. That was one of the most popular mythics added back in the chapter three days, and it would be great mobility, especially in Fortnite Mares, where there's already some crazy items that you can dodge and avoid. So let me know down below, would you guys buy the Spider-Woman skin and be hyped for the Spider-Man mythics to actually return? And just like always, we do send gifts in every video, so for all these new Marvel skins and collab skins dropping into the shop, we will be gifting them in future videos. So don't forget to comment your usernames down below, subscribe to the channel with noties on, and leave a like on this video. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today, so thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.